Welcome home, Rep Pack. Was that worth it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Mark is here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator, founder, CEO of this show is a big fan of the secret recipe of the Krusty Krab. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Chocolate dip, camera flip. Just look at that concentration. Oh, a little shaky on that entry. It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because your boy is here. And today is going to be so much fun because we are doing our Mr. Krabs Challenge. Which if you guys are unfamiliar with the Mr. Krabs Challenge that we do here on the show, we are going to be going out to some of the discount stores being five below and also Dollar Tree. They actually stock an unbelievable amount of awesome Nickelodeon and SpongeBob related products and Disney, all the stuff that we love to collect here. And today our goal is to try to find as many awesome SpongeBob Disney nostalgic items to bring back here in the cavern. All lost. Saving that money. You see how like when I did that, there was no money that came out. There was like a little moth thing in, yeah. classic, car <laughs> in classic cartoon fashion. That's because there ain't none. All right. <laughs> We're going to be trying to save that money. And hopefully you guys can see what's out there available right now. If you want to add it to your collection or any fun stuff you might want to pick up for that deep discount. So first we're gonna go five below, but like I said, we might go to Dollar Tree. They actually have a new dollar and above section that goes all the way up to $5. And I've heard there's some items popping up there that are, uh, you know, quite nostalgic that we may be able to find for a deal. So without any further, oh wait, oh my God, I almost forgot. And at five below, they have new SpongeBob plushies. Of them is food. You remember these? Yeah, you remember these. Yes, they have made plushy variations of a SpongeBob that it looks like a Krabby Patty. And I think that might be one of the greatest things I've seen in my, in my life. <laughs> so <laughs> that right there, I'm hoping to find along with the chocolate dip, Patrick. There's a lot of stuff that we're gonna be looking for without any further ado. Let's head on over there. This is one of the items I was hoping they were gonna have. What is that? <laughs> Little fuzz there. This is the Krabby Patty SpongeBob plush. That's so cute. What we're the heck? We're getting two of these guys. I'm gonna get three of them. One of them we're gonna give away to you guys. That is, that is so adorable. Amazing. This is honestly one of the key things I was looking forward to finding here. There we go. So one of the ones that I, I need. I gotta get one. Me. <laughs> <laughs> we have four of these in the car currently. So one of them. I don't even know why I'm getting three, but one of them I'm just gonna keep. One of them I'm gonna give away to you, beautiful people on whatnot so if you are on our whatnot streams i just have to get this to somebody that is incredible Krabby patty spongebob plush and the third one no, i'll figure it out <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm good that was like one of the things i came here for you know? <laughs> i thought you're like oh i'm good i'm done i'm done <laughs> shopping I'm here no i can't wait to see what else we can find but I, that's a great start <laughs> Okay, so we have everything over here. We still have the skill cranes here in stock. I do kind of want this display, but we gotta wait till like, you know, all the rest of them are gone. But an amazing piece, one of the coolest items to come out in a while. It'd be so sick though to have this though, and like have an army of figures. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, or just like a little, like you could use it for like, put a bunch of plushies in it and put like a little fake like claw above it. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Oh, 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 and there's a Scooby-Doo one. I don't even know what Tiny Mighties are. How do I not know what these are? There's like a SpongeBob in there and he's like yellow, like pink. What is this? Oh, these are the Scooby-Doo ones. You remember the, the ones, ones in the, the cars? Little, yeah, the ones that come in the uh, three of them. They come inside of a uh, mystery machine, right? Inside of a mystery machine. But they, I didn't even know they had SpongeBob ones. How many are in here? <laughs> I'll take them all. I'll take them all. Oh, right there. Look at that. There's the whole set. Oh, my goodness, dude. Oh, you you got SpongeBob, maybe. We have to get this entire set. There's only four, five here. We gotta go to another five below. Yeah, we do. We gotta open these up. We're getting this whole box. That is incredible. Oh, I'm like freaking. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. So what these are is so each one of these has a different color. I was working on it for Scooby Doo, but I think I gotta do it for this too. Is getting one of each and every single color scheme. That's sick. Yes, and imagine putting that in a really big display cabinet. An imagination. A little rainbow. shadow box or whatever. Yes, yeah. You have a whole rainbow scheme of them coming down. Is that one any different? Uh, this one is the same ones that I have already. Okay. okay. But I'm missing 
missing some of these. So I'm interested in still picking these up. To be honest, I wish I would have kept like a list of which ones I'm missing because you can kind of see from the top here, you know? Are these one dollar? These are one dollar. Just one dollar? Just one dollar. I'm gonna grab two for these ones because I don't know which ones I'm missing, but now that I know they have these, I'm gonna have to make a, like a list because I already am so close to completing that list. And who knows, maybe they have the SpongeBob ones in a three pack box too. And a little Krabby Patty box. <laughs> That's an instant pick up. I was so curious about these and we looked it up. You can't even find these on Google Images yet, but these are so new. That's not even on Google. That's crazy. So if we're gonna get this whole set, I think we're gonna, they were, maybe they might release some that come in a three pack, but we might have to go to another five below. There's only five in here. I mean, I don't blame them, man. Only a dollar? Like this whole box probably just got ate up. And shout out to Culture Fly, man, always killing it. Oh man, this is just, I'm so, like I'm so interested in this right now. I love the freaking <laughs> Squidward here, the freaking Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy and the plankton that like like his like color looks so clean. I should I almost ask him. Yeah, you got another of these boxes in the back. <laughs> True. Yeah, I wonder if they have a glow in the dark one like the Scooby one too. Ooh. We'll have to find out. Why? Micro flyer nano cage fidget <laughs> spinner. <such> a long <laughs> word. <laughs> Why do I kind of want this? Toss in the air and watch it fly. No remote needed, dude. I kind of need this. <laughs> There's a red one. I was too. gonna say get the red one. <laughs> no, the clear one. Oh, the clear one's actually pretty sick too. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is so sweet, actually. I can't wait to try this out. <laughs> My goodness. No. What? This, That's amazing. They have the metal figs for Mr. Krabs. Look at how clean he looks. Oh my. That is mini. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. We got Patrick nice right there. Oh my. I love the gloss on it. These are really well done. With Squidward too. Almost then, doing the thing. Almost. He's he's doing the thing. He's just like tilted a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got oh, SpongeBob. Ready. Dude, he looks like straight ripped out of the freaking uh, Sponge in the Run movie. True. That's <laughs> so clean. Okay, we're getting all of these. And they also have the Mirrorverse figures here for $5. Ooh, Sully. These things are like $15 anywhere else. I don't see, they don't probably have, I doubt that they have probably the Buzz Lightyear one. But if Sully. I have to get one, I'm gonna go get Sorcerer and Mickey here. Ooh. That is freaking clean. He's a support class. <laughs> <laughs> or you can get Donald the tank. <laughs> you wouldn't think he'd be a tank. You know, Sully, that's a, very, that's a tank of a man, John Goodman. <laughs> but, but, but Donald, I wouldn't think it was a tank. Have you seen anything Kingdom Hearts? I don't know if he's, t I think he's a support in that. <laughs> <laughs> so Mickey's going home with us. They also have Belle too, it looks super clean. And then one Baloo. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I'm looking for, I would love to get the, it looks like it's this set here though. Cause there is a really cool like Buzz Lightyear from this line too, but Sword for Mickey's gotta go. Man, what a haul already. That has freaking been insane. So Mitchell got a set of the <laughs> metal figs too. We get the tiny Mighties. We got the freaking Krusty Krabby Crab Pan. SpongeBob. And then we got a freaking this. Got this. this. <laughs> and then also the Mickey. Come on. There's all yellow going on here. I love it. <laughs> it's a rare day then. <laughs> yeah. Dang. So then they have the Voldemort light. If I didn't already get the Boo and also the Shy Guy, I have a little. I have way too many LED lights now. I would get the Voldemort because that's actually sweet. And he's white, so it'd probably like brighten. It'd be brighter yeah. than Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore or Harry. <laughs> but then they also have these right here. These soft final figures for Kirby here are really adorable too. Oh, they have a glow in the dark set over here. Yeah, I think the one that I wanted the most of this was the Ninja one. We finally got that though, so I'm I'm, I'm chilling on this one, but it's still cool. Yeah, the BTS here. And then from Jaded Toys, they also still have these three packs now too. You have the Ron, Harry, and also Hermione there. Ooh, yeah. maybe for Christmas. A little Minecraft one too. I'd like Not to see a, a little SpongeBob mini set would be cool too. And the Funkos, nothing, nothing too crazy new. I'm still waiting to get the uh, the Fredbear from this one. Like that's the only one I really want left is the Fredbear. I got the Chica, but I'm like, eh, I could just have one to kind of represent it, you know? Yeah, maybe they have them somewhere else. You never know. We might be going to one more on the way back just so we can see if we can find more of those tiny mighties. Cause, Cause that's, those, yeah. Those are sick. That was mind blowing to find. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, man, this thing makes Rocket its way. fishing rod. If this thing makes its way down to the like the five the, bucks. Yeah, the five bucks. I'm giving me a rocket fishing rod. I've always Dude, wanted to see how these work. I, yeah, I don't want to catch a fish because I just you know I love fish. I don't even eat fish because I, I love fish so much. But it's like you know it's just sick. Like I would just want to shoot it at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> You can get a chair here and okay, it's a seating pad. Okay, I was gonna say I don't know about a chair now, because <laughs> you know how much you need LEDs on your on your chair. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's the art of being a gamer is is having LEDs. How much LED? Screen. Yeah, how many LEDs can you fit in your setup? At some point, you're, these kids are gonna be blind. <laughs> but this mouse, man, this is like this controls like a Gundam. There's so many. <laughs> it's like ten dollars. Happening dude. here. <laughs> that's crazy. 
dude. No way. Clef. They have clef the boy chin wonder socks and don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Do oh, they did it. <laughs> we have crimson chin socks. Are you joking me? This is, is the all? greatest socks I've seen in my life. Yeah, are they one size? They're one size fits most, Mitchell. You're one size yeah, 13. They don't have NBA player socks, okay? <laughs> but you could try. <laughs> I'm not even going to wear these. This is just these like, sick. when do you get fairly odd parent socks? That's an and it's instant cop. <laughs> when, you get, when you get fairly odd parent socks that aren't Cosmo and Wando. Right? That, that, have we got that? We've seen Cosmo and Wando all day. I kind of feel like I haven't seen that. I kind of want that. Like, yeah, one Cosmo, <laughs> one Wanda. That would be sick. That would be kind of sweet. But the Cleft of Boych and Wonder socks, that's unbelievable. They also have some Invader Zim ones. I got so many Nickelodeon socks that, like, I kind of leave them behind sometimes now. Just because it's, like, you know, to conserve funds for other stuff. Like but these Reptar ones? Yeah, but I can't leave freaking Fairly Odd Parent socks. So the shirts, all they have is the Starry Night SpongeBob, it looks like. They have a couple other good ones. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, that's what they need is a Squidward one doing the thing. Is, oh, please. We have the Ush room, which is like Usher's bedroom, I guess. It probably says Mushroom and it's just cut off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Central perk. <laughs> the Yodel Power, Total Power. Total Power, Vintage Perfection. <laughs> yeah, no SpongeBob one. Send memes. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're looking at the food stuff. I completed the Mario coin section, so like we already have this complete set. So, you know, like I was just getting them here and there just for the fun of it, but you know what? Last time, since I didn't get any, like a red Mario, it wasn't so fun. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. And I also have this entire set essentially complete as well, too. So we're gonna leave it, but man, I'm petitioning. I'm petitioning, I'm not buying any more until we get a series two. Please, please, please do a series two, Frankfurt. You've milked this. I mean, long enough. Long enough. You, the whole farm is dry. Okay, just get us a series two, and we'll then you can milk us again. Okay, <laughs> just get us a series two. All right. So I mean, the only thing left here is the freeze dried candy. I think. Oh man, if they made these freeze dried, I man, it would be in some trouble. I just, just can't justify the five dollars for them, though, man. Freeze dried candy needs to, needs to change their prices, but. None of, other than that, I don't really think there's any that I need here. What are you thinking? Mmm, sour spears. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna get the sour spears. Oh, those are sour skittles. That might be good. All right, Mitchell's gonna get some. All right. He was just literally was just saying <laughs> right now. He's like, oh, I want some this sour. I don't know what though. <laughs> <laughs> and then boom, he finds this. That was not planned, but. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna check this last little section out here. I'm not seeing anything, you know, new for what we're looking for here, but a lot of cool stuff in the last. So, man, for a little Avengers pop socket there, Pez one. Yo, Space Jam. <laughs> So I think what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go ahead and check out and we're gonna head on out of here. But man, what a freaking haul. That was, there's so many new and fun items. Uh, that's, that's, th th these type of punts at Five Below come once, maybe twice. Uh, that's pretty often. Five Below is awesome. <laughs> All right, let's head on out of here. All right, I can't see a thing because the uh, sun's burning my eye <laughs> sockets, but we're going into Five Below and then maybe the Dollar Tree after. My eye! <laughs> Bald. <laughs> If you think about it, the sun is kind of bald. It doesn't got here. Uh, that, that, that's a thing I didn't need to know. I have to think about. <laughs> okay, so that, that that was the worst. Okay, <laughs> so we went to that five below. We well, didn't come to this one first because there was literally nothing there. No tiny, they didn't even know what the tiny mite, mites were. So I'm going to have to find those tiny mites somehow. We might open like, uh, we might open a couple, but I kind of want to save it for its own special video. If I can get like a bunch to open up, I think that'd be amazing. Maybe they're going to have them on their website soon. I don't know, but I hate about five below's website is you can only order five at one time. So I don't know how I'm going to get an abundance of these. Come on, Culture Fly, help us out. <laughs> yeah, somehow we got to get more of them, but they didn't have them there. Let's check out Dollar tree suit they have either way we're gonna go back to the cavern check everything out you never know that maybe we'll find something here today okay i mean actually kind of a little something oh, here i mean for one buck you know you can't complain a new item to the collection reading comprehension workbook okay we'll take that and we can learn and see if well, are we smarter than a sponge breeder what is what this is this out here in the wild oh it's a sorry are you kidding me a bubble brand. this is a new one too so a freaking bad dollar tree Dollar Tree? Are you kidding me? It's in the five below. It's in like the three to five, three to five section. section. But hey, dude, are you joking me? A freaking bikini bottom bubble race game for five dollars? <laughs> Put it in the car. <laughs> there we go. Let's have a Team NT one. I know the Team NT one's cool. We already kind of got a lot today, but that, that, that's, that's wild. Like, 
I'm sorry, I didn't knock it all over. I'm so, what, so wild. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect to come in here and get that dang thing. That's crazy. So a little like lesser known fact about uh, the Dollar Tree DVD section. I've found a couple Nickelodeon movies in Dollar Tree before, but this is one that's like at a lot of Dollar Trees right now. And this is 100% uh, cocoa. I, I have this movie already, so I'm not gonna pick it up, but if you guys have a Dollar Tree near you, I've never watched it. I just got it for the collection. Nickelodeon Presents. You see this is Nickelodeon Presents here. So it's a part, I don't want to read this whole part. <laughs> Nickelodeon Presents here. So this is a Nickelodeon movie actually. So, you know, just to add something to your collection, a little random movie, it's only a buck. Well, $1.25 these days. You know how it goes. All right, so it wasn't for nothing. We did get two freaking items out of nowhere that I was not expecting. Who would have guessed we come here and instead of finding something at five below, found something at Dollar Tree. Hey, that's a win. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I was a little bit, you know, a little bit sketched out about them adding that new Beyond section at Dollar Tree. Now it's three rows deep, that's Beyond section. But they had some stuff that was some decent prices. So, I mean, if they can make the deals that you got for a dollar as good for $5 items, or maybe you're getting some $5 items, that are technically usually worth like 15. And now what? I'm gonna keep an open mind. <laughs> that, you know, maybe we might find some more sponge stuff there. Maybe some other stuff down the line. I'm optimistic. I don't know if it's a gift or a curse, but today it sure seemed like a gift. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head back to the cavern now. Check out everything we got, and we might have got a little surprise at GameStop. Power to the player. <laughs> um, with any further ado, let's head back to the cavern. I can't even scoot over because I'll be extra weight from all these products. <laughs> Look at that, man. We got such a haul today of just sick stuff. Okay, and a display box. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Tiny Mighties. The greatest thing since Tidy Whiteys. I cannot wait to open these up. Oh, I wish we could have got more. I'm so ungrateful. <laughs> I'm happy we're gonna open up two today, but man, would it be awesome to open up an entire case of these. But I cannot find them anywhere right now. As soon as I get an opportunity to be able to get a whole box of these, you already know we're gonna be opening these up crazily. First of all, I said crazily, but second, Look for clear sparkle and glow in the dark variants. They do have those. It's right there in Patrick's house. So I, let me grab my Scooby-Doo ones, okay? Because I was working on when I complete the Scooby-Doo one. Uh, here's a picture of our Johnny Test shadow box with all the figures coming through. I think it looks clean. But what I would love to do is a Scooby-Doo one, get another shadow box with all the Scooby-Doo characters and their different variations going through, like a little Scooby-Doo rainbow. But I think with SpongeBob, dude, it even makes more sense. The man is infamous for his rainbow and rainbow variations. Imagination especially. <laughs> yeah, so I think it would be so cool to have like a whole shadow box of all of the different SpongeBob variations. I don't know, just a random thing to add to the collection. And technically, each and every single variant is also Oh! Is also, each and every single one of them is a new addition to the collection. So here we have these Scooby-Doo ones here. So you guys can kind of get an idea of, I think of this one, we're only missing like maybe, I don't know, like I want to say like maybe 20, which sounds like a lot, but I think there's like freaking like almost like almost 80 or something like that to collect if you include every single color variant and each figure. So let's go ahead and check it out here. Who would like to get? I'm only going to open two because if we can get more of these, I'd love to do some kind of mass opening for a video. Maybe like open like at least 12 to 20 to, I don't know, more if we can. So we have to save three so in case we can't find a lot we can add this to that haul go ahead and pick one and i'll pick one all right go ahead and go for it in three one i mixed them all up <sighs> you sure about that one no <laughs> <laughs> all right my turn i'm gonna go with this one all right <laughs> let's do it all right who do we got here it looks like it's yellow so that means maybe we got robert it could be like literally any other of the figures though is yellow <laughs> <laughs> that's true all right we got sandy so there's the sandy cheeks right there there's an orange one on the display there do they stand well they stand like manuel they stand really good what i'll say though is these ones are a lot softer than the scooby-doo ones were like feel how hard the scooby one is and then compare that to this guy Oh yeah, it's kind of like vinyl. Oh wow. Yeah. I wonder if it's like because of the five below ones, or are they like slightly, I, we, well we have the Scooby. Did we get a Scooby one of these? We did get Scooby ones. Okay, I think we got Scooby so we can see if the Scooby ones are actually soft like this because then I'd say that's a little weird because it kind of keeps an inconsistency in your collection. But nonetheless, there's the Sandy one right there. And if you guys don't know what they are, these are basically like, kind of like silhouette colors of the, of the characters. Of course, they're not the most detailed. They don't have paint jobs and stuff like that. They're just colored variants of their molds, but they're kind 
kind of to be reminiscent of like 80s style like uh, micro figures that you would have in a lot of collectibles. And this is kind of to be that. And it's still really fun though because you can kind of create like a smorgasbord of different colors together. And they're only one dollar. So I mean you can't really beat it for a buck. Let's go. I can already tell these are harder. So I think the Spongebob ones are made to be a little softer. A little spongier. Yeah. So let's see here. Do I have a red creeper? I have a lot of them. So that's why I'm like a little worried because I think I see a red creeper in this one. Yes. It's a red creeper. No. This one's a little softer I'd say. It could be like how they release them. It's still pretty solid but I do feel like this is like softer material. I mean they don't really look any different so that's good. You could kind of put them in the same set but let's see. No. No, it's just the creeper's legs are just kind of, you know, spongy in consistency. So it's just the creeper. It's fine. So yeah, these ones are more solid, unlike the uh, the Sandy. But I'm starting to think that maybe these are that same plastic. It's just because she's a more, like, slender character. Uh -huh. It's, like, more noticeable. So, Scooby one, we got a new one. Like, that is actually so, like, look at how many I have there. The chances of getting a new one were really low. I just was kind of going off of my gut. And I felt like we didn't have a red creeper. So there we go. We had the red creeper to add to the bunch here. So, like, now kind of see like imagine you have a display case with like all of them and they're different colors you know kind of just going up it's like a rainbow That'd be so sick. And there's the glow in the dark ones and there's the glitter ones too. So these are the glow in the dark and glitter ones of the Scooby Doo line. Let's see what we can get a SpongeBob one. That would be so cool. What so we this, got? There are only other SpongeBob ones opening in this video. We got the man himself, hey. the red SpongeBob. And yeah, he's a lot more solid. So there we go, the red SpongeBob to go <laughs> with the uh, yellow Sandy. We got <laughs> strawberry and banana. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's kind of a, a switch up of their colors there a bit. Hey, he's, he's Patrick and She's SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, ah, man, I cannot wait to open up more of these. I want to see what those glow in the dark and the glitter ones look like. They look so good on the Scooby line. And as with the Scooby Doo ones, I really want to eat these. This looks like a strawberry uh, looks Starburst. Like a Starburst. Yeah. yeah, they look so tasty. Don't eat them. But if you do, I don't blame you. <laughs> All right, so we have one more Scooby Doo one. And then, like I said, these three we're going to save. So, hopefully, we can do a big opening of these tiny mites. I got two reds. <laughs> So this one I feel like maybe I'm not gonna get the best of luck on we have the phantom shadow Do I have a red phantom shadow? Yeah, no Double no even though this character actually does come in twos. So yeah. this, <laughs> this actually kind of makes sense, but uh, no <laughs> Dang that was genius though uh, freaking culture fly they released the Scooby-Doo ones in a three-pack that comes out for two dollars and eighty seven cents or three dollars eighty seven cents But then you release them like this for a buck that's genius. Because yeah. that's even a lower entry level. Like, Culture Fly is killing it for value. <laughs> <laughs> they are killing it. I love Culture Fly so much. Bringing so many awesome products to an affordable, arranged where everybody can enjoy it. Awesome. All right, so the Scooby set is back together and the SpongeBob one is just continuing to grow. Man, I hope we can get more of those. Let's check out what we got next. The Big Patty himself. We got the, oh wait, we forgot to rank those. Ranking for a dollar, 10. <laughs> Seems like those would be pretty loud, but no, just 10. <laughs> An easy, solid, hard as a rock. 10. So next up here we have the Krabby Patty like I said. This is freaking beautiful. Like what else can you ask for for five freaking dollars? It's an awesome Spongebob plushie. This came out by Just Play of course too. So they did release this line over here. I already showed that in the intro of the video. So you can see it's just basically a slight variant on the figure that they released. His eyes are just open a little, a little bit more here. But the last plushie, I mean we've gotten a few different plushies from Just Play. But most notably I think most people have seen are these Pill Pell. I believe they're called and I feel like you know like we give them some flack for a lot of times doing the same things But man, that's really cool like for five dollars. That's an amazingly cute and awesome plushie I don't know whether to add it here in our Galay grub I might or I might add it over in our extended food shelf, but this is just beautiful and again I just want to ah <laughs> All of this stuff is so edible today, but we couldn't find the chocolate dip Patrick. I'm hoping we can find the chocolate dip Patrick. I also would love to almost eat that. Oh. <laughs> All that. But if you were to get any of the other characters in that line, which we also have a couple that are exclusive to the uh, five below and that two packs, but this and those... don't forget Hot Topic now has like the pearl. We ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's Hot Topic exclusive ones too with like two different ones that are like- Also like $5 more. And they're mysteries too. And like if you, if you get the not that, then you're like, oh, well, I have these at five below for way cheaper. Anyway, but of those ones you see there, who would you want to see a, um, a, a model of in a plush form like this guy? Because man, I would love all of them in these plushies. 
Uh, we release them again in plush form, amazing. You, you know they might, but... <laughs> yeah, just play, they might do that. Out of that specific line, probably Plankton. But I do want the Gary as a donut. Oh, yes, the Gary as a donut would be perfect in plush form. Oh, or the mayo one with Patrick coming out of the mayo. That, that <laughs> one, there's too many good ones. So here's the Plankton one. Would you guys want to see this as a plushie? I personally would love to see Fred. <laughs> Fred as a macaroon for me would be perfect, just because it's like, you know, you don't get a lot of Fred products as it is. So, hey, let me get a plushie of Fred. We have a shot on screen of all the different variants. Which one would you guys pick if you guys were able to for them to make a plushie for next? But I'm just happy we got this one. Another $5. Any of these five below Dollar Tree videos, you're going to see me giving a lot of fins because it's cheap, it's awesome, it's licensed. You can't ask for much else. 10 out of 10, baby. I like that? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up here. Oh man, we got to get into the goodness. There's so many good things to check out today, but this maybe not. I don't know. It's either gonna be really cool or it's gonna be not that cool. But I'm I'm ready to find out. So it's USB charging. Let's see if it's got some power already. I thought it was gonna have batteries. Oh, look at how easy that was to get open. Look how tiny that charger is. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very small charger. But let's see if it's already got some power in it. How do I turn it on, Mitchell? I don't know. There it goes. Hey, there it goes. Whoa! Oh. My goodness. Ow, ow. <laughs> Toss it. Dude. Okay, that's that kind of sick. That is sick as hell. <laughs> oh, are you okay? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It is a volatile one. <laughs> that is so sweet. That is epic, dude. Are you kidding me? All right, ready for this? I'm ready. Oh. As going. I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's dying, Mitchell. As fun as that was, it was not long lasted. Oh, oh, it didn't it make it. in the middle of the air. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, let that juice up for a bit. We're gonna get back to you. That's a solid for three bucks. For three dollars, ten, ten. It's like, what else can you get for that, that much? You know, you can't even get a sandwich for that much in this 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 market. All right, so that is awesome. And all the way, also, by the way, like I said, I got one of these to give away on Whatnot. So if you guys aren't on our Whatnot streams already, go check it out. When you sign up, you get $15 for free. And you guys can enter in all of our giveaways for free. You don't have to pay anything, even the shipping that gets shipped right to your door for free. All you have to do is enter in our live streams. You can get take home the Patty Bob. All right, there we go. Let's check out the next items. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. These are the Jada figures here. So we've got SpongeBob right there. Let's go ahead and take it look at him first he looks so cool i know it's just like the metal like you wouldn't think like it, vinyl looks good but somehow you can tell this is metal you know it's just the like i don't know what is it like the shininess of it or something yeah it's just the way that it sets on it i guess yeah it just looks heavy oh man that is wow just you setting him down for that moment <laughs> <laughs> for that brief moment you can feel the quality that is beautiful dude there he goes he is solid as a rock like, that's nice, man. For him to have that little on the ground with the weight holds him up so well. Feel that guy. Wow. This has got to be a solid six pounds. <laughs> that is freaking nice. <laughs> you know what it is? I think it's because, like, on metal, you can get, like, if you look at his, his, uh, his sponginess, it's like it has like a glitter. It's almost like a car. You get what I mean? Like the the paint quality is almost like what you would see on a on a car. I guess you kind of have to on metal, right? Yeah, and the camera you can only see it so well. But if you look really closely, it actually has like some glitter within the paint. That's cool. Yeah, like the quality is amazing for five dollars. I don't even know, man. Like it's like what do we say for the for the value on this? I don't even know. So what it looks like it is is the casing of his body is metal, and then the arms seem like they may be plastic. Yeah, but but I actually kind of like that because if you drop it, it's maybe not gonna, I don't know, maybe this part feels metal too. I think maybe like this is metal too. I think the only things that are plastic is the arms. And I think that's just again to like avoid breakage. And if you look at his nose too, I think the nose may also be a plastic piece again to avoid like breaking very easily. That is really nice, man. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I'd say I'd give it a 10 just because of the quality, but I do think five is a lot, but it's metal. I could have seen the same thing being sold for five without, you know what I mean? Without being metal. So I, I feel like I'm gonna give it a nine, a nine to 10 solid. So there's the SpongeBob one. Let's take a look at the next one. Obviously doing SpongeBob first, we gotta do Patrick next. So let's go ahead and get him out. And then we'll pick our favorite one of the bunch here. I feel like certain colors, you're gonna see this glitter really well. Like Patrick, I can, you can see like really well on that. Oh yeah, you can see all of that sparkle come off oh, right there. Way more like visible. Heck yeah. There we go, Patrick is out. And man is a heavy boy. <laughs> like a little brick. Dude, they're so nice. 
like that if you have all four of the characters for twenty dollars a little display that is a nice quality display like if your office your collection you know on your by your tv stand just all four of them in this high quality metal it looks like a very very like high-end series i'm in love with this Those line incredible yeah yeah like the one i i my only like issue i'd say with the spongebob one is that you have this really clear mold line on them i wish that could have been melded together but it's five dollars but right, patrick but doesn't even have that he just looks smooth, smooth. look at the glittery skin does the camera pick that up the glitter yeah that's yeah, gorgeous all right 10 out of 10 on patrick too five oh. below killing it you know what i always give culture fly all the props but jada toys doing some good stuff i do have that uh that i think it's like a chevy tahoe with spongebob or i can't remember maybe it's even a uh a Ford Bronco with SpongeBob. We'll put it on screen here. That's by them too, and it's like 11 bucks, like a great deal too. And that one comes with the figure. We'll have it on screen here, but it's actually different from this. Like you know, some brands, dude, they would have just used the same SpongeBob from that one. They actually made a new mold for it. That's nice. And apparently, you might be able to find this same box set here in a four pack. What? Personally, I kind of like the individual boxes, but if you wanted to, you could possibly get a four pack as well. All right. So obviously, next up, we'd have to do Squiddy here, and oh my goodness, his size stature is so adorable he gives me camp coral vibes for sure we'll have squidward from camp coral there on screen he kind of has the same stature and body shape of his camp coral form but of course it's more of a chibi design to fit alongside a spongebob and patrick there we go oh he looks oh my gosh he looks beautiful genuinely beautiful I kind of am obsessed with diecast figures. I kind of want them to make more SpongeBob diecast figures. All right, so there goes the beautiful Squidward, the, the SpongeBob there now. Something feels off about this. We need Mr. Krabs. I think it goes like this. Technically, yes, it should go like that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And you guys let me know. I'm thinking about, I know that it's like kind of doesn't fit the coloring in here, but you guys let me know. What do you guys think about painting the table white? If you guys like that idea, let me know. I think because it might be a little easier to see certain things, you know what I mean? Instead of it blending, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the orange kind of reflects off of a lot of things. So if you guys like the idea of me changing the color to white, let me know. But if you guys are just used to the orange and you guys think it doesn't make a difference, you know, then we'll stick with the orange. I'm just trying to give you guys the best experience. So if you guys would like me to maybe switch the color to like maybe we could do white and have like some orange splatter you know or yet a green splatter and orange splatter in a couple spots that'd be cool but to where it's not like so covering the entire table or because all orange yeah because this bounces off the lights and it makes me orange and also makes a lot of the items orange but it's so like classic with the room here that like you know i haven't changed it but if you guys like that idea uh let me know in the comments i would really appreciate it. i know this is a little bit later in the video but if you're getting to this point let me know your opinion all right so here we go we got mr k now mr crabs i feel like this is gonna be really good for color too yeah man I, I i'm really i want them to do more die cast stuff release some more characters please let's get a sandy honestly i would love did a green dutchman oh that would with the glitter in him oh that would be too cool they have um nickelodeon figures jada also made nickelodeon ones a while ago but the quality wasn't this good like they were nice die cast but the detail wasn't this good oh man that pops wow. so well there we go, the whole crusty crew, and I mean that through and through. <laughs> <laughs> they look beautiful. Ah, 10 out of 10, out of 10, out of 10, out of what? 10. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. All right, I'm obsessed. I need more, Jada. Snip. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I need more Jada toys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, favorite one though? Favorite one? I gotta go with Patrick. Really? I'm gonna go with Squidward. I, the Squidward's a close second. Yeah, the Squidward one just looks so freaking sweet. Like, he looks so adorable too. The SpongeBob one, you can't go wrong. The Mr. Krabs one, pretty good. But the Squidward and the Patrick one are really, really nice looking. I just love the sparkles in him are really visible. And the, you know, it's pretty weighty. <laughs> yeah. All right, so these are gonna be going in the collection. Absolutely. Oh, they're like little, little trophies, little monuments. All right, 10 out of 10 on all of them. But if I have to to go lower ranking tens because they're all tens but i'm gonna go ten nine nine eight <laughs> Hey, there you go. All right, so you guys let me know who is your favorite. Let's go ahead and check out the next items we got here. We got a lot of cool stuff today. All right, I'll show them my surprise item here in a second, but you go ahead you go and get some food here, huh? Oh, okay. I've been, uh, been looking at them for a while there. So Mitchell in the past has been getting these freeze-dried treats. 
He got, what'd you get last time? The freeze got, dried Starburst? I started off with the Skittles and then I did the Starburst. Now my man is upgraded to sour Skittles. I, I'm, I'm very curious on the sour ones. All right, go ahead and get yourself one there. May I have one? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And you see like they're bigger than the Skittle ones and they're like the exact same thing. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, pop them. Ooh. Mm. Those are sour, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a warhead sour. What the hell? <laughs> that just does no joke. They are sour. <laughs> sour Skittles ain't that bad. Oh my god. That was way more sour. <laughs> that was really lemony. <laughs> if I wasn't keep like we have a river flowing out. I mean, my eyes water a little. I wasn't ready for that. Oh my goodness. That's like a warhead. Genuinely, the closest example I can give that is a warhead. That was good. If you like sour, now that's sour. You gotta try another one. I wanna see if it was just the yellow one, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna try this lime one. That was great. Mmm. Really sour, but the lemon one was extra. Those are good. They're really good. I think that's my favorite one we've tried. Out of all of them, this is the best. If you guys see these and you want to try them, these are the best. Yeah, the sour gummy worms are really good, but that took the cake. Or the Skittle. That took the Skittle. It's the <laughs> best one. Wow. I'm going to wash that down. There's so much sourness. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 again for the price. Yeah. Flavor, yeah. 10. Flavor, price, 10. Price, 4, 5. Yeah, price is like a 5 or a 6, but that brings it to like a 7, 8. All right, so now I got a little less sourness up my mouth. I'm still there, actually. We have the Clef the Boy Chin Wonder Socks. You know, for me, I don't end up wearing a lot of these style socks, so I don't usually open them anymore. I just add them to the collection. Fairly odd parents products are few and far between, but where we've been seeing them is, as far as clothing goes, we've seen Fairly Odd Parents drop a t-shirt at Five Below, and now we're seeing them drop socks. There should be coming around soon here a Fairly Odd Parents reboot series, and I know a lot of people don't like when they do reboots, and I, and I totally Totally get it but I love merch and you <laughs> can't tell I love picking up merchandise it's some of the things that make me happy is just seeing all the different characters that I love represented and fairly odd parent stuff and we have a little shelf here but a lot of that stuff is very very exclusive very expensive and hard to, and hard to get at this point and I'm all and that's why I love doing these five below videos thriftings I'm all about accessibility I really could care less about a SpongeBob item or a fairly odd parents item being hundreds of dollars and I mean I have to deal with that sometimes to get them but I love the accessibility and them being available to other people to where everybody can enjoy the thing they love. And Fairly Odd Prince is a reboot. Whether it's the reboot stuff or not, I'm sure a lot of the products are just going to be general Fairly Odd Parents themed. So I can't wait for them to do that because hopefully we'll get a lot of merchandise to come with it. But you never know. I think that's a nice little, a nice, nice direction though that we're getting Fairly Odd Parents socks. And for these ones, it was five dollars, but you do get two pairs of socks. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a. I just feel like I have to say not a ten because I'm saying so many tens. But, but it's I'm fairly gonna be, odd parents. I'm gonna be an. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> ten out of ten, in my opinion. All right. If, if you're if you're looking for an opinion on SpongeBob, fairly odd parents. Yeah, maybe a cartoon channel is not the one. Because my, my reviews are very, very biased. <laughs> you haven't been able to tell. 10 out of 10. But as with certain things, uh, if, if it's overpriced, I will tell you and I'll give you my honest ranking. For me, it's all about accessibility and price range. There's some things that I choose not to collect here or even talk about on the show much because I think they're way overpriced for the average consumer and the average fan. So stuff like this, I love because it's affordable. Anybody, a you know, majority of people can go to the store and pick this up and it's within their budget so a uh, 10 out of 10 all right and next up no that went the wrong way <laughs> <laughs> we got the mirror verse mickey so i got this one because i do love this mirror verse i i don't know exactly i think the mirror verse is mainly a mcfarland toys thing but i i want to say they have an app like maybe there's an app game for it. I don't know. Ryan's gonna put the information up on screen for what Mirrorverse is. But we've gotten to see some really cool like post-apocalyptic almost like style forms of Disney characters. And I've really wanted the Buzz Lightyear one, the glow in the dark one for a long time. And we've never found it for like a good price out in the wild. But if I were to get another one, it would have been this Sorcerer Mickey here. So I decided to pick it up. Obviously this is a variation of Sorcerer Mickey being his outfit from the film Fantasia. Really cool piece. Just a nice little figure. And again, these things typically would go for like $12.99 all the way up to $15. So being able to pick it up for $5, I couldn't leave that behind. So I grabbed him and I'll give him, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight. I think that like, well, I think for the price, 
maybe a nine. Like I don't, I think if I were to pay $15 for this, I'm giving it an eight or a seven, just because I think it's like, it's cool, but I feel like the marketing for Mirrorverse isn't like big enough to where I really understand it. So therefore, like, I think that it kind of has a limited market for it, but I would say a nine being that it's only $5 at five below. Okay, so the next up here we got at the Dollar Tree, we actually picked up some stuff. We have the SpongeBob Reading Comprehension Book. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see if, uh, see if we can learn you something, Mitchell. All right, so what's the answer to this one, Mitchell? SpongeBob is sad, he is mad, or he is happy. Ooh, that's hard. Uh, I'll go with C, SpongeBob is happy. Nope, ah, wrong. He is madly in love with the Krabby Patty formula. Oh, I should've knew that. <laughs> what is this one? You really gotta work on this, Mitchell. He's playing a guitar. He's playing reading guitar, a reading a book, or SpongeBob is painting a mural. Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna say painting a mural. I mean, it's pretty, pretty artful, right? Yeah, he's painting a mural of Tasty Licks. Good answer. <laughs> All right, and then three, this generic image from like season one. SpongeBob is blowing bubbles, calling a friend. Who calls a friend? That is a special friend. <laughs> SpongeBob is listening to the radio. <laughs> I gotta say, he's uh, listening to the radio. He's listening to the. He is listening to the radio, and he's requesting beep boop 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 beep boop. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> So you have all these different pages. I mean, that's really fun. You know, you have for a dollar, you can get a little bit of sponge in your life and learn something. <laughs> I like how they put plankton as small. <laughs> small. <laughs> Is that fast? Is SpongeBob really considered fast? And that doesn't look more like sleeping. It looks more like relaxing. Chilling. All right, so on that note, that is pretty much it for this one. You know, a little bit of uh, making education fun for kids for one dollar. That's only a good ten for me every day of the week, except for maybe Sunday because um, I don't like learning on Sunday. Sunday school. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So learning on any day is good. <laughs> Next up here that we have the Bikini Bottom Bubble Race. So for this one, I'm not sure. I feel like this is a different one than the one they released at Five Below a few years ago. But if you don't know what this is, it's essentially the game Sorry, where you uh, click a button in the middle like that, it rolls a dice. I always love this game because I always lost the dice, but you can't lose it in this one. You can't lose all those little pieces though, which I did do. And you kind of just, it's basically just a game of luck. You just kind of go around and whoever gets the most, the best rolls eventually ends up being home. It's like a straightforward game. You can't really mess it up. But uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to really give it for a ranking. I mean, I'd say for $5, it's probably a pretty solid product, you know? I am going to research real quick to find out if it's different from the one they released a while ago. I think the one at five below is a little smaller, if I recall. I don't know. I'm going to see. But I do like that they also went through the, you know, they did make the character figures actually different. So you have the teal for Squidward, yellow for SpongeBob, the reddish pink for Patrick, and then you have the purple there for Sandy. Because, I mean, a brown one would have been kind of weird, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. The whole little setup there. And I mean, there's not much to it. I'm not going to bother opening this one because you know what the game is. And I don't want to go ahead and, you know, mess up the packaging on this. I think my first one I did open up for the show. So 10, I'm going to give it a, for five bucks. If it's different from the other one, 10. If it's not different, seven. Okay. Eight. Hmm, five. Nine. No, eight. eight. That's it. Okay, so the original one looks like this. So oh, this it's a little more basic, okay. Yeah, that's like jellyfish, and they didn't take advantage of the fact that there's a bubble in the middle of the game. I, gl I love that they took advantage of that little bubble, like, you know, that's already in the game normally, so the fact that they actually utilized it for SpongeBob branding was a smart idea, you know? They could've even put like, a little tree in there, like a little tree dome, yeah. you know? <laughs> that's just cool. So I'm gonna give it a 10 because this is a different variant than the one that we had at Five Below, meaning now that I have two different variants of this game in the collection, which is always a plus to me, because that way I didn't buy the same product basically twice. So 10 out of 10 for this one. And on that note, that's, oh wait a minute, my surprise. My surprise? I always <laughs> read the surprise. The surprise is right here, boom. Ooh. We have the Shadow and Super Shadow. They have this at Dollar Tree in the Beyond section for three bucks. An unbelievable deal. Well, we got this at GameStop next door. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little coupon. So I kept my Mr. Krabs energy going into there. I had a coupon for GameStop. This was $30. I ended up walking out the door with this guy for free because I stole it. So I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> ended up walking out of the door with this guy for $20. So an amazing deal here. You guys know how much I love Shadow the Hedgehog. He's my favorite character from the Sonic series. Grew up, you know, being an, an edgy 
edgy kid. So I always love shadow as my favorite. And they glow in the dark, but not just that, it comes with Super Shadow. I already had the Shadow Funko Pop, and I think that they had Super Shadow, but it was an E3 exclusive that's just like way too pricey. So this is like perfect for me. Again, I'm always trying to keep my shadow collection from kind of growing uh, into, uh, well, this. So I, I'm trying to like, kind of, <laughs> I mean, yeah, we always show this side, this side, but this is 360 inside, outside. Uh, it's everywhere. So <laughs> the shadow collection, I'm trying to keep it contained to a nightstand and it slowly, slowly keeps growing. But at the same time, I, you know, you do what you love, you know, and you enjoy what you enjoy. So what I'm probably gonna do is get rid of my regular shadow Funko Pop. I'll probably put that over on whatnot. And then I'll just keep this one to kind of represent shadow in his Funko Pop forms. Being that you have both super shadow and regular shadow in the same box. I think that's just way too freaking cool to pass up. Love it. And let's go ahead and check out its glowing feature. Uh, I'm wondering if, if regular shadow glows too. They both glow. Ooh, let's do it. Dang, so it looks like the regular one doesn't really glow very much. You can see this one does glow, but I mean, it doesn't, it's not the strongest glow, you know what I mean? Yeah, compared to some other ones. Like, we don't have all the lights out right now, but at the same time, we do this all the time when we have glowing stuff, and it still shows up pretty well. The glow is pretty weak, but I don't really mind. I just wanted them, you know, how many, how many times do you really do this? You buy these glow-in-the-dark pops, you blast them with a the black light, you're like, oh, wow, that glows. And then you never do that again, and then it just, you know. <laughs> that and then they feature, just sit there like that, yeah. yeah. That feature is just a thing that you don't even really get much out of. <laughs> it's just for the uh, for the flux of it, I guess. But I just wanted to see the characters with the lights on. The same with flocked, right? You don't you touch it once, you're like, yep, that's yeah. it. Yeah, it's just like flocked. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these different products we picked up today. Our SpongeBob counter, item counter, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, Nickelodeon too, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 if you count the box. <laughs> a lot of awesome pickups today for a really, really cheap price. Like everything here on the table besides the Shadow and Sonic was like 60 bucks. So amazing deal and I think we succeeded in our Mr. Krabs challenge keeping it under $100. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here. And if you wanna support the show further and you wanna get an extended version, 100% ad free of this video, go check out our Patreon where you can sign up for only $2 a month. And when you do, you'll get that extended version that comes with a bunch of different behind the scenes footage and some extended content that you've never seen before we have over eight months of additional content already uploaded on videos you may have seen in the past but with an additional 5 10 sometimes 15 minutes of bonus content plus you even get early releases in some cases and a bunch of other perks so go check it out in the top of the description and if you guys want to see us live and also possibly win your very own Krabby Patty Bob go ahead and check out the whatnot streams we're there every single Friday and sometimes Wednesdays every other Wednesday or so we do a one dollar stream where everything starts starts off at $1 and every single cent that we make over there on our whatnot stream Patreon comes right back to making these shows possible. So thank you to everybody over there already. We appreciate you. Much love to you. Stay tuned here. We got to add some of these items here to the collection. But before that, you know the drill. Scan it. So for the Krabby Patty uh, Bob here, we did have this figure here, but I already have the jumbo one of this guy right back here. And we also have this one, it's the imagination ones. And since they're so similar, I think it'd be better to kind of swap it out with something, you know, new. So we're gonna put the Patty Bob right here, because it does kind of blend in with our Galay Grub here, and also the, the Krusty Krab that he's sitting on, right next to Gary. So it's a nice little variation to add into the mix here. I love it. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see what Patrick thought about it. <laughs> He's like, I'm excited. I get to eat and it's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and for our new display here, there we go. We have the uh, metal figures up there. We were gonna get another filing cabinet, but I think what I'm gonna be doing is expanding on the food section of the of the house very soon here. So if we have more files that we need, we're gonna go ahead and just get another one and put it in there. And that could just be as a multi-use type of thing. I think we, as a cavern, we gotta focus about display. And the filing, if you think about it in some ways, is just another vault. So we might as well put that where vaults go, like somewhere in a different area. That's not kind of our showcase area. Okay, and this will be going in this weird spot right here here for right now because I don't want to forget about them. We're going to put them there. We only have two, but I'm hoping we can do a video opening up a bunch of them. Um, we're just going to keep looking out for them. Mitchell's going to check out his five below. I'm going to check out my other five belows and hopefully we can get a nice little set of them to open up on the show. And we're going to go ahead and add the creeper in here. And this one I'll probably just throw in somebody's package on whatnot. So that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here. Again, if you guys want to go check out that Patreon, if you guys want to go check out our Patreon, you can sign up for two bucks a month. That's down below. And again, if you want 
want to see the whatnot streams, go check them out. That's in the information in the description. But I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're going to love. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you beautiful people. Again, thank you so much for just watching this video. In the next one, adios and bloop.